it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. I don't know what this little dance was. Um, so, I've had a shit day, it's been a hideous day, so I've decided to come home to my kitten, grab some wine and film a Spooky Box Club unboxing because there is nothing better in my life than Spooky Box Club. Also Jake. Oh, did you hear that noise? Too Maybe. Um, I have two spooky boxes here to unbox. Um, I haven't been saving them up. I just got a double package, um, so that's really cool. I love it when that happens. So the first one I'm going to unbox for you is the Abominable box. Everyone sees the sticker. Okay, I think you can see that. What do you guys think? <laughs> this is my like squished sofa. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this background. So, we're gonna get writing, writing, right in to unboxing. So. Ooh. Okay, so the card is blue, but I'm not gonna read it. First thing I've picked up is a hibernate sweater pin. It says, time to hibernate. I've started collecting all my pins in like a little, it's almost like a little toolbox um, and it's really cute to open it up and look at all of the ones that are in there. Maybe I'll do a video where I go through all my pins but that will be later because I want to carry on collecting. So the next thing is a charm for the charm bracelet which I still don't have a charm bracelet. I'm just collecting up the charms. One day I will get a bracelet. <laughs> um, and it's a little drop, it looks like a little sapphire or something, obviously not a real one but it's freaking cute. Why does it not want to focus? I feel like we were almost there then. There we go, a little sapphire. Super cute. Next thing is a lollipop and it's red and green. Very Christmassy indeed. I hope it tastes like a candy cane because that would be so fitting. Ooh, okay, there's a little box here and some cellophane. Every time Pumpkin hears like cellophane or crinkling, she's like, treats. <laughs> um, so it's a little purple box. Oh my God, how cute. So blue isn't really my color, but I'm feeling this box. So it's a necklace with a snowflake and then it's got a purple gem and then it looks like a little pearl or something. Um, oh, not a pearl, just like a little bead. Like, could we focus? Could we show the good people of YouTube? There we go, I feel like you could maybe see it then. Yeah, how cute. I feel like my younger sister would really like this box. She's a blue person. She loves blue and she loves Christmas, so I feel like she's gonna love this box. So, we have Gingerbread House Cookie Cutters Mug Topper. Oh my God, how adorable. So, get a list of instructions so that's the front and then when you turn it round there's all the instructions on how to use it and you have these little cookie cutters here and you can make a little gingerbread house and then you can pop it on your cup as like a little topper for your mug that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It even gives you gingerbread recipe. Oh my God. Wait till next Christmas. Casey is going to love it. Oh, okay. We've got an interesting red organza pouch. What is it? Tell me. Oh my God. Okay. I think. Oh my God. These smell like, you know, the shop where you get your nails done. Oh, I feel like I'm having my acrylics put on. So, oh my god! Okay, these are decorations for your tree. So we've got two of these. They're like glittery bones. They're obviously in the cellophane. We've got two glittery skulls. Then we've got four different tombstones. These are definitely my favorite. We have one that says festive fears and they're my, like, my favorite ones because they've got the the cross on the top you can see that Merry Christmas that is going in all my Christmas cards next year Haunted Holidays and then a good old R.I.P. how cute these are like my favorite thing of my entire life it's a shame that it's come so late 
but I don't care. I'm ready for next year. Okay, so we have something here. Oh my goodness! It is a knitted scarf and it's got little skulls on it. How cute! Oh my god. I'm wearing this to work tomorrow. It's so cold outside at the moment, so this is perfect. I love it, how cute. Yes, in love. And the last thing in here is a calendar for 2018. So on one side it's got January to June, and then on the other side it has July to December, and it's like an ombre with little bats everywhere. That's really cute and really useful as well. And then inside the box, I have a fuck ton of confetti that's all now gathered in the bottom corner. And it's all little stars and snowflakes and I love it. So that was a really good box. Those little tree decorations are the highlight of my life. Um, I'm obsessed. That was the abominable box. Let's refuel. Oh yeah, I'm going for drinks. I'm psyched, psyched AF. Okay, oh my God, Prees. Prees with my cat, that is the life I want to live. Oh my God, my camera's gonna die. Okay, right, quickest spooky box club unboxing you've ever seen, Witch's Cottage, let's go. Right, oh my God, I forgot to go through the card of the other one. We don't have time. Right, card number two. It's like a pale mauve type thing, I feel. That's a cute colour. I'm down. Oh, I didn't have any squishies in the last box. Devastated. Right, okay, that one looks big. I'm going to save that. So, the first thing we have is in this little organza pouch. Again, how many times have I said organza pouch? How many times do you want to punch me every time I say it? Um, is a, this looks like a necklace or a bracelet. Okay, that would be one big wrist. This is a... No, don't be tangled. Okay, no, it's not tangled, we're fine. Oh, maybe a choker? Just a short necklace. Um, so it's a silver necklace and it's got like an opal style gem and then a little pentacle at the bottom. Please focus, because this is so adorable. I want the world to see. That's really, really cute. I will definitely get a lot of wear out of that. Opal is my favorite gem and I love pentacles, so. This is, that was a, a good find or a good addition. We have a fancy witch hat pin. I love anything to do with witches and witchcraft and it's just so cute and it's a cute little pin. I definitely, definitely love that. Oh my God. Okay, so the next thing is a pack of coasters and they're skulls. So you get two coasters and what's really good is that they're like rubbery, like silicone. Um, because the ones I've bought Jake, they tend to smash if they're like glass topped and this is good because they'll stick to a surface, they're easy to clean and they won't break so that's really really cute. Next we have a lollipop and this is red toned, matches my eyeshadow. Um, that's cool, obviously they planned this whole thing. <laughs> I hope it's like berry flavour or something, that'd be cool. Ooh, poison apple tea. I have been looking for Turkish green... Uh, Turkish apple tea that's not hella expensive for so long. Um, I couldn't find anywhere in town that sells it. I even looked in Holland and Barra and I never shopped there. Um, and this has Turkish apple pieces in there. I'm gonna give it a smell. Ooh, smells like, like apple with a hint of like something. So it's got green tea, Turkish apple pieces, pineapple cubes, vitamin C, and natural flavorings. I hope it's vegan. Um, I really hope it's vegan, but the design on the tin is cute. Um, Jake and I have just slowly gotten into drinking tea, so that's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna open this box now because curiosity has gotten the better of me. I need to know what's in here. I don't know how to open it. Okay. Oh. Ooh. oh my god, I literally don't need any more mugs in my life, but I'll throw one away for this one. This is a magical potion mug. Please focus, because it's so cute. There we go, so it's just plain white with the 
magical potion written in black with a little crescent moon and then on the bottom it says spooky box co as per usual it's just like a standard size mug which is really good because all my other ones are like really weird shapes or like odd um kind of you, they're difficult to hold or they're more for like aesthetical purposes rather than drinking from um i end up stealing jake's most of the time so this is really good okay i have something here i don't know what it is it's very big oh it feels really soft oh it's a cushion cover i love cushion covers these are from Spooky Box Club, from the first box I ever got, the Fortune Teller box. Um, so this is a witchy cushion cover, so we've got gems and potions and a spell book and a cauldron and broomstick and toadstool. This is so adorable. I think I'll keep this one on my bed because it's kind of too colourful for the living room, but it would definitely go in my bedroom. So that is so fucking cute. I love that. And then, to match that, we've got a little sticker sheet of the same, um, the same print, but just as stickers instead. And you can even use those to decorate the coffin notebook that we got in the last box. So, it all worked out. So, I'm going to quickly go through the cards, check that we've got everything. So, from the Abominable box, Haunted Holiday Tree Decorations, yes. Little Skull Knitted Scarf, little, I thought it was quite big. Scully Snowflake Pendant, yes. Uh, gingerbread House Cookie Cutter, 2008 calendar print, 2008? <laughs> 2018 calendar print, Hibernate Sweater Pin, Blue Drop Charm, and a Handcrafted Gourmet Lollipop. That's everything from the Abominable Box. And from the Witch's Cottage Box, uh, Magical Potion Mug, Poison Apple Tea Sampler, Scully Coaster Set, Witch Essentials Cushion Cover, Witchy Sticker Sheet, Fancy Witch Hat Pin, Pentacle Necklace, and Handcrafted Gourmet Lollipop. So we got everything in all the boxes. I think the best box for me was the Witch's Cottage Box. Um, I just love anything to do with witchcraft. I think it's so cute. But out of everything that I got, my favourite thing was the tree decorations. They are just so fucking cute. I'm a sucker for graveyards, I guess. So, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments section below. Tell me what the coolest thing was that you saw in this video. Um, yes, as always, any information for Spooky Box Club will be linked in the description box below. I have no affiliation with them. I pay for my own boxes, but I love showing you guys what I get. Um, yes so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe as we are almost at 3,000 subscribers holy shit i'm so excited love my life anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye